There may be situations where you want to understand proportional contributions within a category. This could be a time period or descriptive attribute. Analyzing proportional contributions can give insights into underperforming and outlier categories. In this video, you'll see how to create a bar chart, how to create a stacked bar chart, and how to create a 100% stack chart. While pie charts are commonly used to show proportional contribution, they are problematic as differences in angles are difficult to perceive. For this reason, pie charts are not recommended and will not be demonstrated. These are the visualizations that will be created in a dashboard during this video. I created a data module using the zip file Coffee Sales 2022. It can be found with the video how to create a data module with uploaded files on the IBM Accelerator catalog. I want to see what insights I can gain for sales by product type. The first visualization I'm going to create in this dashboard is the bar visualization. From products, product type is dropped in the bar slot. From sales receipt, line item amount is dropped in the length slot. Sales are summarized by product type, and each bar shows the product type contributions. Sorting line item amount in descending order shows me the ranked contributions, letting me pick out my best-selling product very quickly. Making a copy of the previous visualization, I can get additional insights by making the chart a stacked bar chart. Now, instead of having a single bar for each product type, I want to break it out further. So I'm going to drop month name into the color slot. This gives me insight into how sales in April and May now contribute to the total sales by product type. This is a good visualization to use when understanding actual values is important. Copying the stacked bar visualization, I'm going to create a 100% stacked bar visualization. This is done by toggling a chart property. Well, I no longer see the ranked list of categories that I had in the stacked bar chart, overall proportional month contribution by product type is now very easy to see. This concludes this video. You've seen several options on how to visualize proportional contributions. Knowing what message you want to communicate or insight you are seeking should guide you on picking a visualization best suited for your needs. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.